Uh, may the Lord God bless you. It's a great privilege for us to have His mercy, the perfect mercy of God. Because everyone, we can have mercy upon uh, each one of us. As a human being, you know we are weak. When you see your friend, your sister, your brother, someone you know did something wrong to you, sometimes you look at it like this, you mind about yourself, you say, ah, me too, I'm a weak. Maybe I did this to someone else, he forgive me, let me forgive also. Uh, that's my brother or my sister or my friend did. Let me just forgive him, it will help him to learn. But if you treat him the way he did, it means uh, that it's gonna be more to you. It means you will you you will find something that it's gonna be painful on what you did. That is the law of God. Because remember, all the law of this world will take we have hands is weak. But the law of God is the law that is. If we can see the law of our justice being uh, built by the law of God, you understand? So, uh, if the justice of the, the, the country can be strong, if the country can be strong, must stand if the uh, with the, the the justice because the justice is the only thing that can uh, take away, it take up or uh, what I can say. Uh, uh, help the country to forward or to have a strong economy and the people can uh, rejoice and fund uh, job, uh, everything they need. When is when the justice is on high level, you see, but when the justice is mixed with the corruption, that is bring difficult things in the country. The reason why we came here to testimony the, the what I can say the the mercy of God because it's the perfect mercy that us also we need to follow for us to save our soul one another. So that justice of God is the word we're coming to preach. Remember, God condemned us, condemned us as a human being because we fell. We born in the sin. We born in sin. When the Bible says we born in sin, because of what? Because of the way we've been came here, I always say to you, it started by the devil who went to the church, which was which is what was Eve in the Garden of Eden. Remember, we talk about it in the book of Genesis, chapter two. You see, so the justice of God, it cannot be God. To be God, it must be a God of justice. You see. As Jova Chikenu, he came and looked at his son, loved son, fell behind of a beautiful woman he gave to his son because he asked the question to his son, and the son says, Father, it was the, 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 the woman you gave to me. And when he asked the woman, the woman said, It's a serpent. You see, so all of those things, God cannot leave it like this. He gave to them a punishment, and that punishment it was a condemnation, or regarding the sin they, they they did. So that sin it was what it was that God didn't yet allow them to do. The devil came and gave them the interpretation of this word wrongly. You see, it brought them to compromise to the word of God. That's the reason why those things took them to be away the will of God because of what? Because of that uh, uh, sentence of the justice of God. And the sentence was the death because that Lord says that in the book of Genesis chapter 2, in the day you will eat it, you shall die. And the death took place. And the Lord Jesus Christ came as God is rich in mercy. You see? For us to be saved regarding to those, uh, to his sentence he did give to, uh, uh, to us in the beginning. Remember, in the law of representation, we've been there in Adam and Eve, all of us, the worldwide. Remember the name of Eve, it means what? It means the mother of 
uh, uh, all creatures, not creatures because there is many creatures, animals also are creatures, the human being we can say, you see. So, you see that sentence, the Lord Jesus Christ came and uh, gave his life on the cross, so to take this sentence away. That's why this your recommendation, the commission being gave to us to believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord, firstly, and Savior. But most of the people, they prefer to take the Lord as a Savior only because we, they, we are afraid of the risk of this world. We are, safe. We are afraid of uh, the condition of the things, the way the world is going. If you follow the news, we can see the weapon, the, 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 the nuclear bomb, all of those things uh, built by Russia, United States, and uh, England, France. They have the weapon that can destroy this world probably, and uh, even though at uh, North Korea, you see, all of them they have the weapon that is can destroy this world in the few time, in in, in even not the, uh, uh, a minute, just before minute we can see the this world disappear completely. So we are afraid. We are afraid also. We are unsafe. Many things happened, you see. With the difficult time we are living, we need Jesus Christ. We need God to be our Savior. But the Lord, God need firstly us to take him as our Lord, not only a Savior, as the church want us to, uh, to be. That's what they're preaching us regarding the miracle, to prophesy. So that's all of those things, it, it, just to, to come to one Savior, it can tell us something regarding our future, regarding what happened yesterday, because they're not even telling us our future, but they're telling us that happened yesterday. You see? And they, 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 they came there with the, the gift of healer, doing the miracle, all of those things. After second days, after three days, you'll see we fell again in the same sickness, you see? So it means the Lord, Jesus Christ is not yet the Lord in our life. Because if it's the Lord, himself will brought to you the power that we come to teaching here. Because if you have this word, this word must set you free. So if the word set you free, as the prophet Branham says, it will... Build in you the virtues that you can be a healer yourself by his name is in you by the word you are listening. Because the faith came from the word we are listening in this word is God. You see? So for us to avoid that is coming in this world is more than that we are afraid. Is what? In the following day when the time will stop you will going to go where? You see? Because this time will end up. Because the time started in the Garden of Eden. In the book of Genesis chapter 2. Not in Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1 is the supernatural. When God created heaven and earth. But in the book of Genesis chapter 2, as we read it last time, remember? You said God created this, the material. The physical, God created that we can see. And all the things God put it in time. But before we get in time on the such life we are living now, all the things was in the perfect. And that God leaves them to reach a level of thousand years. Because thousand is the dispensation of winner. They're supposed to reach thousand years and they will live forever. They're supposed not to die. So God lets them give them one commandment. And the commandment was we can you can read eat every fruit of the trees are here. But regarding the trees, the tree of a knowledge of good and bad, you cannot touch. And that tree was a woman. You see. The Bible says many things were sealed. That's why that we came to read in French here in the book of uh, uh, the book of the what I can say 
the Apostle Paul, uh, Galaxy, I think is Galaxy, chapter uh, 1, verse 12, he says to them, it's not from a man I receive this word. This knowledge I have, I'm preaching to you, came from the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's why we are coming here to preach you the revelation of Jesus Christ. How we can born in the kingdom of God. That's the only things we need to prepare the people now. Because it's the time to reach the perfection. Sometimes you can sit there asking the question, ah, in this body, can I reach, can I be perfect? Yes. Because the blood that saved you is the perfect blood. If you believe Jesus is the Lord, you will abandon yourself in his word. You see, it's the book of uh, Galatians, chapter 1, verse 12. If you read it, you'll see what Apostle Paul says to us here. You see, it's very, very important to stand in God's word. So the only thing that can help us day by day to forsake and forget what we are doing in our life. All those weakness things is still remain in our life and we're still doing is only this word, the living God, word of God created heaven and earth. You see, in verse 11, he said, let me tell you, my brothers, that the gospel I preach is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man. Hallelujah. No, did not any, anyone teach it to me. Hallelujah. It was Jesus Christ himself who revealed it to me. Hallelujah. This word is so wonderful. So we cannot come with something. We've been laying it somewhere. You see? Remember the same Apostle Paul? He was... Someone who was, was combined, what I can say, uh, persecuted the church of Jesus Christ. But the Lord in the book of Acts chapter 9, he came and he hit him by the eyes to took away all knowledge he did took from the university for him to give him his revelation. You see, we didn't deny to go and learn. Learning is better to organize the things, but that... Oh, that way to organize the things is not the way of God. No, that is just to make the things of God be in order. But we have to wait ourselves to him to say, Lord, this is a time we need you. Regarding on what you've been revealed to your servant prophets, apostles, we need that revelation came to us because we read, we study, we listen to the voice of God, Remember, we have the voice of God. The food being kept safe for us because we are, we are living in the time the food, the spiritual food is difficult to find it. You see? So that's why for us to be avoid, to be saved for the, condemn, the, the condemnation of this world, the world, it means the system, the certain build. And that system is the only thing that took the people away from the will of God, the perfect will. Remember all the great organization of this world, what they did. They want all the people came and dwell with them so they can be away from the will of God. Do the things regarding what the devil need. Remember, last time we said to you regarding the Eden of the Eden of Satan. You see? And Satan started that Eden from the Garden of Eden where he brought the mark of the beast. The people thought like the mark of the beast started today. The mark of beast the mark of beast started in the beginning. Because Satan he came, he dwelt in the beast. Serpent is a beast. That's why you see all of them today, they are lifting up the beast. They are glorifying the beast. They worship the beast. You see? So most of the people also in this world, they are not in those organizations, those ones that have popularity to lift up the beast, but you, are, you still praise and lift up the worship and lift up the beast 
behind the life you are living. You take away the word of God. And some of the way you are wearing, you are doing your things, it's brought you in the mark of the beast without acknowledge, without understand that. Without you, 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 you realize that you are already there. As you talk to other people last time, you say, most of the people, they don't realize they are living here. On the fifth dimension, this is the kingdom of devil. He built his kingdom here because when he came from heaven chased by Michael, he wanted to build this five dimension here. You see? Because this one is the rest of the saint. When the saint died, directly they passed here, the bride of Jesus Christ, who received the will, the perfect will of God the time. You see, who recognized uh, 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 his time and the message of the Lord revealed. As Apostle Paul says to us here in the book of Galatians chapter 1 verse two, uh, 11 to 12, we, we just read now. You see, so he wanted to build his kingdom here, but the power of God took him from up till down here. That's why this dimension is here down. We will talk about it because we have to write it in English because this one we write it in French. Remember, this one is mean world, world, time. Those three dimensions and the, you see the fifth is here and there is a space of judgment here. You see, judgment is those who are, they reject the word of God, they are judged already. But if you confess, you repent yourself, it means you are avoiding this judgment and you look, you are looking, you are looking, you are busy looking the perfect will of God in the time you are living because God revealed his word by his seven prophet deeds, the, says the book of prophet Amos chapter 6 verse 7 to 8. You see, God always, since the beginning, remember, a plast Abraham, a, what I can say, Adam. Adam fell. God calls Abraham. After Abraham, Isaac. After Isaac, Jacob, Jacob, Joseph. From Joseph, God saved Israel. You see? When God saved them, you will see, after that, God was treating with them with the prophet. You see? All the ages, you see, the prophet Nathan, prophet Samuel, all the prophet Elijah till John the Baptist came and after him Lord Jesus Christ. It was not the spirit came like this preaching. No, God used always this envelope to dwell and manifest his perfect will. But the people reject always. It's only the minorities that standing with the word of God. But the popularity majority of people that always reject the perfect will of God in the time they are living. That's why the Lord says in the book of Luca 17 chapter 20, 21, he says until 30, he said the hand time it will be like in the time of prophet Noah. It will be the same like in the time of Solomon and Gomorrah. You see that is happening today. You see, the things was happening in the Sodom and Gomorrah. The people come, what I can say, man to man, lady to lady, even mother to son, daughter to the father, all of those things. You see, it's because of what they reject. The prophets of God, the apostle came with that, said the Lord. You see, to avoid the judgment of God. So it means when you reject the judgment, it's waiting for you here. We will read in the book of Revelation uh, next Sunday so you will understand what we are saying to you this Sunday morning. So most of the peoples are going down here regarding on what to read in the hell is here. And all bad spirits are coming here to influence the world with the people that they have popularity. You see, in the polit politics, and um, churches and uh, uh, many organizations and uh, uh, the star of the music, you see? And all the popularity, remember our Lord was not a popular, a popularity, a, a popular man. 
The people didn't love him. Read the book of uh, a prophet Isaiah chapter 53. You'll see what the Bible says regarding that. You see? So the only things can avoid us to hold influence is coming from down here in this world we are living. Because, you see? Remember? Because the fourth dimension is... We're going to explain to, uh, about that. You see? But you will see all of those things, all of those spirits are coming here, influencing the world on the things we are using. The computer, phone, TV, our way to wear. That's why we say the mark of the beast is already and most of the people, but they didn't know. You can take it from the club, you can take it on the street, on what you are listening behind the TV, on what you are uh, uh, looking on your phone, you can collect it on TikTok, you see? Because it came from dragon. It's the things you are using. But if you use it, we have to put the word of God on top because the only things can save us if the Lord is, if Jesus Christ is the Lord, you see? That's why we say we cannot only to be a savior for you, no. It must be firstly to be a Lord because you can obey to the Lord. But to the Savior, you can obey, but in the few time, you will be, it's going to be a use, usually, you see, it's going to be just like a something of every day, then you forget, you see. Then when you feel again pain, when the danger came to you, you need a Savior. But if it's a Lord, it means it, it took the preeminence, it took domination, and it's going to guide you, teach you. Bless you, protect you, heal you, save you, give you the power sometimes to pray for your kid, for your daughter, for your boy, and you get healed. You see, let us read in this book for us to understand the judgment is coming, but we're going to continue about it because we wanted to talk about the rapture, to be taken away. You see? Because it's written in this Bible. Because this world is prepared for something we're going to read here now. So all those things, they are under this judgment. They cannot reach this dimension. To understand. Because if that judgment is the death, you see, it's the death. That we just come to say here, it was in the beginning at the Garden of Eden. When they fell with the wrong interpretation, that pastor, Satan, it was the first pastor. You understand? The devil was the first pastor and there's still a pastor. He always came to take the people away from the will of God with the word of God, not with something else. When he came to them in Genesis chapter 3, he brought the word of God. He didn't come with something else. He said, the, said, the Lord said, we wrote it to, together here with you. Genesis chapter 3, start to read it. You see what the Bible says. Devil, when he dwell in serpent, when he dwell as a beast, because he's a spirit, he's supposed to use one creature for him to come and took them away from the will of God. To understand? To limit their life from the death, judgment. Because the, he knows the Lord says already, and the Lord is straight. He cannot change. You see? And he came to them using what? They are here. This sense. And the church was a woman, represented a church in the Garden of Eden as all the church here. Remember in the book of Revelation chapter 17, they are called the prostitutes. And those prostitutes they are the church spiritually as women. To understand that. It started in the beginning. So the virtual woman, she stand always with the word of God because with the word of God, God bless and always honor her daughters. I can say even more than uh, his boys. There is no chapter in the Bible says as the book of Proverbs it says many things of blessing and honor, everything regarding women. Zadeh. Read Proverbs chapter 12, chapter 14, chapter 31st, from verse 10 to verse 31st. 10 verse 
21 verse only for women. Imagine that. You see? So, we're going to read that scan. Uh, we're going to continue with it for us to learn and understand how to avoid this judgment, the death. Because when we're going to read in the book of Revelation chapter 20, next Sunday, so you'll understand we have two deaths. You see, the first death is for, is with body. You see, and by the secondly one is the, the death, it means the separation with God. It means the spiritual death. You see, you die forever. To understand, that's why we are coming here for, to prepare you, one another, for us to stand with his word for us to avoid the second death. Because this first death, we can be died in Christ when we are listening to his word and get a new birth certificate as we preached last time in the kingdom of God. To born again in the kingdom, you see. To be born again, it's very important. It means you die in Christ and you rose up on Sunday morning. So the second death will no longer have influence in you to separate it, you with God, eternal separation. To understand. So to avoid that, we're going to read that and we're going to continue on. We start today about to be taken away. You see, so we, we're going to read in the book of uh, Apostle Peter, chapter 2. Uh, uh, what, no, the second, sorry, second Peter, uh, second Peter, chapter 3. Let us read for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and God. Amen. My dear friends, this is now the second letter I have written to you. Hallelujah. Let us read it carefully. It's very important because when you finish to read, we will close our service and continue this teaching, um, this Sunday service on next Sunday by the mercy of God. Hallelujah. If the Lord Jesus Christ didn't come, if the bomb, the weapon of Russia is not... Uh, still, uh, still, uh, it's gonna be uh, still hold again. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I have tried to arouse, uh, to uh, arouse, arouse pure throughout in your minds by reminding you of these things. I want you to remember the word that was spoken long ago by the holy prophets and the command from the lord and savior which was given you by your apostles amen first of first all of first of all you must understand that in this that in this in these last days some People will appear whose lives are controlled by their own hits. They will mock you and will ask, He promised to come. Did he, didn't he? Where is he? Did you follow it? That the people will come and ask him to us. I repeat it again. First, of all you mm -hmm, you must understand that in these last days in these last days some people will appear whose lives are controlled by their own husks i think you understand i have nothing to explain there they they will mock to you and will ask he promised to come didn't he? Where is he? Our father have already died, but everything is still the same as it was since the creation, the creation of the world. Since the creation of the world. Listen carefully and read carefully. 
the the people the people certainly ignore the fact that long ago God gave a command and the heaven and earth were created created amen the earth was formed out of water and by water and it was also by water the water of the flood that the whole world was destroyed but the heaven and the earth that now exist are being preserved by the same command did you listen to that the apostle give us the example on what happened on the last time in the time of prophet noah and he says let, let us continue on what is trying to explain to us here so when we will continue on next sunday you will realize where we are and where we are going and what is waiting us we can drive nice car wearing nice clothes going to the beautiful place all of those things if you don't mind about to prepare yourself for the rapture my beloved brothers and sisters you already lost Amen. By the same command of God in order to be destroyed by fire. This world is awaiting fire. We'll explain it on next Sunday. Even the weapon of Russia is a fire. You see? But the fire of Holy Ghost will come also after the fire of the weapon. Nuclear weapon. Let us continue. They are being kept. You see what we're trying to explain to you. Let us repeat it. Amen. They are being kept for the day when godless people will be charged and destroyed. You see what we are trying to explain to you? Let's continue. But do not forget one thing, my dear friends. There is no difference in the Lord's sight between one day and a thousand years. Hallelujah. To him, the two are the same. The Lord is not slow to do what he has promised. As some things instead, he is patient with you. Because he does not want anyone to be destroyed. Oh, my beloved sisters and brothers. God is so rich in mercy. Give us time to prepare ourselves. But where are we going to prepare? To confess, to repent, to follow this voice of God. Amen. But want all to turn away from their sins. You see, that's the perfect will of God. 10. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. On that day, the heaven will disappear with shrill noise. The heavenly body will burn up and be destroyed. And the earth with everything in it will vanish. Since all these things will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people should you be? Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, have a mercy upon us. Your life should be holy and deducted to God. Amen. As you wait for the day of God and do your best to make it can come soon, the day when the heaven will burn up and be destroyed and the heavenly body will be melted by the heat. But we wait for what God has promised, new heaven and new earth, where righteousness will be, will be at home. You see? will be at home. I'm supposed to write here home. Hallelujah. 
Amen. And so, my friends, as you wait from that day, do your best to be pure and faultless in God's sight and to be at peace with him. Look on, look on our Lord's patience as the opportunity he is giving to you to, to be saved just as our dear brother Paul wrote to you using the wisdom that God, God gave him. This is what he says in whole his letters when you write this on the subject. There are some difficult things in his letter which is ignorant, ignorant and unstable people explain falsely as they do which other pass, uh, passage of the scripture passage of the scriptures so they bring on their own destruction but you my friends already knows this be on your guard then be on your guard you know God then so that you will not be led away from the errors of lawless people and fall from your safe position but continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to him be the glory now and forever amen you see what the scripture says? What Apostle Paul came to tell us and the people are trying to compromise and give us wrong interpretation. You see, but for you take the position when the patience of God is still in front of us. May the Lord God bless you. We'll continue this with many chapters we just gave to you now. We will read it so you understand how to avoid the first death and the second death to be ready when the time, the bomb will be destroying this world. When the fire will come, you will be taken away. May the Lord God bless you. Happy Sunday to you, to your family. May the Lord heal to you, provide on your need as we are. Let us pray one another. So the Lord will forgive our weakness and our sin, our sins and transgression. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray it. May the Lord God bless you. Happy Sunday to you.